I'm sorry. This was the worst WrestleMania. And I didn't even watch. I watched the show months ago. And I'm not going to even review the whole fucking show. Cause, and you, your head would hurt if I review the whole show. I watched this show months ago. I don't feel like I have to watch it again. Because it was painful the first time. And I'm not trying to watch it the second time. No. I'm sorry, but no. I am not watching that WrestleMania again. This WrestleMania was the worst WrestleMania other than WrestleMania 32. This was the worst WrestleMania of all time. I think this was one of the worst WrestleManias of all time. In my in my era, in my era of wrestling, this was the worst WrestleMania of all time. Whoever enjoys this WrestleMania, <laughs> I just got something to say to you. You are you are you're not a wrestling fan if you enjoyed this if you actually enjoyed this WrestleMania. Now my cousin went to this WrestleMania. My big cousin went to this WrestleMania. He I understand that it might be somebody might like this WrestleMania because it's their first experience for a, um to a WrestleMania. But no, this WrestleMania was fucking terrible. The only match I liked on this show was The Undertaker and Triple H. That match was awesome. The rest of these match, oh yeah, even Cody Rhodes and um, like I'm not gonna lie, like it has a couple of match, it has some good matches on this, it has some good matches, but the show wasn't even good. I'm sorry, the show wasn't wasn't even good. If you was going to do, if you was going to build this show like an actual good show, why not have two of the, um, why not have two best friends going at it, Edge and Roman, Re Edge and Roman Reigns, Edge and Christian. For the World Heavyweight Championship, have Chris, uh, have probably like Christian, uh, and uh, Edge fight, and let's have John Morrison in the mid for the WWE Championship. God damn, the stories is there, the stories is there. The Miz turned on, the Miz turned on John Morrison. Remember, the Miz turned on John Morrison on his last night on on um I think Raw or Smack. I don't know, I don't know what Brown it was. And you could have did that story to um going on to WrestleMania. But no. You build it up around John Cena versus The Rock. Randy Orton and CM Punk. Randy Orton and CM Punk was actually a good match. But what was the story? I think this, I believe the story was Randy Orton took him out. Randy Orton took out CM Punk a long time ago and CM Punk trying to get his retribution. I think that's what it is. I don't, I don't know. I have, it, it's been a long time since I watched this. Well, actually, I watched this around the Super Bowl, around like when the, when, um, when the, uh, the whole Super Bowl thing was, was going, or, going around. The whole Super Bowl, uh, I think it was in January. Yeah, I watched this in January. I'm not watching this event again. I'm sorry. But let's get into this show. Um, we got Cody Rhodes and Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Rey Mysterio, this whole feud was around. I mean, this whole feud started because of uh, Rey Mysterio um, accidentally um uh kind of shattering his face by hitting him with the uh, 619 and basically he called himself uh, like he like he felt like he was ugly that's what Cody Rhodes felt like he was ugly he um uh, the, uh that Ray Mysterio uh kind of ruined his face so that's how the story began the whole the um then Cody Rhodes in the match with I think he yeah, he hit him with his mask. Didn't he hit him with it? I think he hit him with a mask or knee brace, I think. I don't know. And he uh pinned him one, two, three. Huh. Um <laughs> Yo, and this is another thing I was just pissed off about. Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler. Speaking of Jerry the King Lawler, I he had a freaking WWE championship match at Elimination Chamber. Why? Why? But Jerry King Lawler and Michael Cole, Stone Cold Steve Austin was a special guest referee. Um, Stone Cold pushed Michael Cole after Michael Cole pushed him. 
and Dread um Dread the King Lawler uh uh beat on um, Michael Cole, but a computer a notification went off said that Stone Cold interfered so so by no by disqualification it was Michael Cole. Michael Cole beat Dread the King Lawler. Oh my god. Why? Why? Just why? I can't. I'm sorry. I can. I can't. I can't. And happy Easter, everybody. Like happy Easter. This is. I'm literally recording this on a Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. <sighs> then they had a. Tag a freaking tag match with freaking Nexus versus Big Show, and it was Santino. And I think Sa- the Big Show and Santino, and I think it was Cole. I, I th- wait a minute, didn't they have a? They didn't have a no. They didn't have a lot of match. So it had to have been Kofi. It had to have been Kofi. And Kofi, Big Show, and uh, Kofi and Santino won. That match didn't even didn't even need to happen. Like I honestly think that Wade Barrett should have been pushed at this point. But okay. What else? What uh, what else, man? We had Alberto Dario versus Edge for the World Heavyweight Championship. Edge beat Alberto Dario, and he destroyed his vehicle. Great. Instead of ending on a match with Christian, I would have I would have accepted the match with. I'm not gonna lie. If you would have had Christian and Edge, um, John Morrison and uh Miz at WrestleMania, I wouldn't have had it main event WrestleMania. I would have had Christian and Edge main event WrestleMania, but I would not have John Cena and uh in freaking uh. Rock beefing at this point. Well, I would, but I wouldn't have them. I, I, I would not even have them. I would have still have Rock hosting the show, but I wouldn't. What match would he get? What match would um would John Cena get? I really don't care. But John Cena and the Miz. Oh my God, bro. And I don't care about a, a lot of these matches. So that's why I'm skipping a lot of skipping over these a lot of these matches. Well, I'm about to just get to CM Punk and um Randy Orton. CM Punk and Randy Orton. You know that wonderful spot with uh CM Punk jumping and hitting um Randy Orton hitting an RKO to win the match. And let's get into Undertaker and Triple H. Triple H, this was a fucking good match. This was the only match I cared about on this show. Literally, the only match. I, and I'm not going to even lie. I was a Miz fan. I was a Miz fan. To, um, from, 2000, uh, from 2011, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and to 2018, and to 2019, but 2020, they just fuck. They fucked the gimmick up. They just fucked his gimmick up. Like I, I hated the Miz. I hated the Miz after this. I don't like the Miz. The Miz used to be one of my favorite wrestlers, but now, like, yo, I don't know why. I like, I don't know why I like the Miz, but he was just my favorite wrestler. One of my favorite wrestlers. One of, not was my favorite wrestler. He was one of. Yeah, Undertaker and Triple H was a good match. They, but Undertaker could not walk out on his own power. He was collapsing and all that stuff after the match. He couldn't get up. He couldn't. He couldn't walk out. He couldn't walk out on his own. So that that leads to the end of an era match at WrestleMania, which should have been Undertaker's retirement match, but. 
who knows? Who knows? I can't uh say when he should retire, but <sighs> then we got this lame ass main event. This lame ass main event. The Miz versus John Cena. John Cena speared the Miz over the barricade, not through the barricade, but over. And they got counted out. John and The Rock came out and said, No, we ain't ending it. We ain't ending this shit like that. It's going to be like, we're restarting this match over. And the match restarted. The Rock helped Miz to win a match, to win, uh, to retain his WWE Championship. And. After the match, The Rock laid out The Miz. So the spot wasn't even on The Miz. The spot was even was on John Cena and, and The Rock. The spot wasn't even on The Miz, your WWE champion. This show sucked. And I and the reason why I didn't want to do a whole review with this show is because I would have told my... Look, this, it was, this was the WrestleMania that... I struggled to watch. I struggled to watch. And I even told my cousin that this show was bad. And he said, why are you, why are you um, crapping on uh, uh, WrestleMania 27 like that? Because it was bad. Because <laughs> it was bad. But let me know your thoughts. Did you like this show? Did you like this show? Did you hate this show? Let me know. I, I struggled watching this show. I, I'm sorry. I just struggled. This is your WrestleMania review. Well, it's not really a review. I'm just really rambling about this show. But like I, I barely even I talked about I didn't talk about um a lot of stuff with this show. Like the uh the John Morrison match with I forgot what the other girl name. I don't forgot what the other girl name was. I think I the, was Trish in this match? I think Trish was was in that match. But I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about anything else at the, I, I seriously. I I don't care about this pay per view. This was the worst pay per view. And 2010 and 2011 wasn't even bad, honestly. 2011 and 2010 wasn't even bad. It was just like, yo, this Russell, this WrestleMania was just bad. Was this WrestleMania was bad? Just like uh WrestleMania 32, the year was good for for wrestling. The year was good, but. The WrestleMania 32 was bad. But let me know y'all thoughts, bro. Let me know y'all thoughts about this show. And do you like the did you like the show? Um post comments down below. Turn on notifications so you can be the first person to get to be notified for my content. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe out there and happy Easter to everybody. And stay safe stay safe out there. See you guys next time. Peace out.